Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your October reading for this current year, 2019. Hi, newcomers and return folk. It's nice to see your faces again. Now, everybody, Sagittarius, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it because it's just a card game after all. It might work. It might not work. You never know. Just boop your nose. Away you goes and away we goes, right? Right. Also, if you want a personal read, all the information is in the description box below. Newcomers, first readings on the house my treat, and I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Love you. Anyway, let's see. Two of Wands! Mmm, look at that. Someone's got some decisions to make, but you're looking at the past being like, do I want to go this way or the other way? Because one of them's got a bigger flame, but I'm not sure which one it is. Like, I'm kind of blind from all the light. Um, situation, yeah, you're ready to go. Princess of Wands, you are ready to go. Damn. Wants and wishes is not revere a cup. Could be a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces. The obstacle and challenge before you is a door that's slammed right in your face. You're probably dealing with another person, right? It could be a Gemini. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There might be a, an Earth sign who's a bit of a greedy bastard. I'm, I'm this like it should be a provider, but they're not. Pretty smug. Like if they lock themselves out of the car, they throw a block party. With barbecue and beer and shit and even cops stripping on top of the cop cars with the siren going off. Playing wee, 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 you know? Like, because they managed to get back in the car with the screwdriver when in reality, like, they had their second set in the house. That they, too, locked themselves out of as well. And then there was a second party once they figured that out, you know? Then it was a celebration. It was two locks in one fucking day, man. You know? I feel like you don't want to deal with this person, you know? It's just like, mm, they're kind of, I, I feel like they're kind of extra. I, I, I just feel like they're extra. Then they should, and they're older, so they should know better. What brings this shit full circle? How it starts, how it'll end. An offer that's rooted in something. Ew. Your beginning theme is a victory. Do, 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 do. I had an alarm like that once with my first job. I will never forget that song. This is victory. It's a good way of waking up that day. I'll never forget that tune because it was so annoying. And I had to set it like 20 times in order to wake up because I'm terrible with alarms. You know? Anyway. Sagittarius, you're trying to figure out what to do after this door's been closed with this King of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo type, right? You want to make a move, but you aren't really interested in offering your cup to anything that might even be a good rooted offer. Or at least a stable offer. It's a stable offer, offer from Block Party Man up here. Like Block Party Dad. <laughs> Let's see. Two of Wands, right? Um, you're wondering if you should stab a motherfucker? Go after him? Just attack? Full on word salad? Because it feels like you just can't let somebody go. Like, you don't know how to, how to find some peace with some shit somewhere? This Princess of Wands, it could be you, it could be Leo's, it could be sad, but like, I feel like it's you. You want to take an adventure in this situation. You just want to travel, you want to go do something new. Possibly try to find some new love, but I don't know. I still think you're looking at your options with this. You know, yeah, yeah, you're looking at your options, because it's just like, you know what? I, I mean, I could, but then there's the breakup, and it's like, mmm. Bastard took my fucking cat, too. Like, that's the worst part about it, man. Like, I gave him a fucking apple. The bastard took my goddamn cat. How much else could he take from me? Sneaky-ass motherfucker, you know? Like, if there was a lover scenario, like, it's separated now. Let's drop one more, please. Ooh, water side again. Queen of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you feel a little bit indignant that there was a fish in the cup in the first place. Oh, am 
might have been that bitch's goldfish if she let it die because she was staring at it too long and forgot to feed it. It was spaced out and shit. Now she's like, oh no, my fish is dead. Revenge, you know? Weird shit, right? Like, it's like they, she did it to herself, but she should have known better. And, like, right now, Sagittarius, I feel like you don't even fucking care. You're just trying to get away from the situation. You want to go on an adventure. Like, you could easily assault somebody because you don't feel like, you know, you want to deal with their shit. Or this is how th this queer is looking at you as well. Cross watch your switch where you need to, right? One of the two. Prince of Cups reversed in the wants and wishes. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Someone who's really, really immature with their emotions or don't want to give their emotions out for some reason. Looking for excuses, sending the bird with a message being like, nah. Fuck you, right? I don't want you. I don't fuck with you. You stupid little bitch. I ain't fucking. <laughs> that is what you like. You you literally send somebody a text with those song lyrics, along with the YouTube video. Why are you lying? That's what you want to do. However, the problem is the door is still closed, and I feel like you're still a little bit curious. Like, what could have been? What could it be? What could it have often have been? Um, it could have been an issue where you had a control freak who would hurt things in order to make themselves feel fucking better. And they were bad karma to begin with. They would not be fair. They would not be just at all. Nothing they did like it was justified. That's the obstacle and challenge, I feel like. Sagittarius for some of y'all because I noticed a lot of y'all really don't like the person you're dealing with <clears throat> but I feel like you're watching this person you, you just dealt with understanding you know no don't open this fucking door actually keep this fucking door closed I think that's what you're really trying to do but I got this inkling that like you know you know I'm a sad rising right I have a habit of saying that, you know, like, oh, I don't care about something. When I really do care, I just don't want anybody bothering me with it because if they do, it's going to piss me off. Because then I'm going to think of exactly what somebody did to me and I'm going to get mad all over again. And it's just like, God damn it, I was having a good day and then this bitch remind me what she did to my fucking peas. Overcooked it and shit. And you got, and it's like you keep up that persona so nobody really sees, sometimes sees you as weak. But that's not the case sometimes. Sometimes it's just the fact you don't want to deal with the um, emotional fallout of realizing, you know, like, this person might bring out the worst in you. I feel like this door is closed. You wanted to crush them. And you don't feel like it's justice because you didn't get a chance to. And it's almost like keep the door closed. Don't be tempted to administer some justice on that ass, you know. Like, that's your obstacle, because I feel like you do really want to talk to this person and get some shit through their fucking skull. But at the same time, opening that door will lead to this King of Pentacles, who I think you don't don't want to fuck with. Period. I don't even think you like him. Honestly. Yeah, they don't know how to be gentle. They're very cutthroat. Could be Gemini, Aquarius, uh... Oh, shit. Libra. Libra. Um... They're very cutthroat, and they know how to make shit work for them with the magician. They might be a little bit of a worker. Oof. A little bit of a practitioner energy right there. Only one more on that, because I just want to see what this motherfucker was going to do with that shit. Um, curious bitch. Um, but they really have a bad eye for what is a good sale at a store. You know, it's got a tacky bone. It's not even dead. Look at that shit. Like, they, she couldn't even wait for it to be dead before they made it into a fucking belt. That's ridiculous. This person, um, does not have an eye on looking at what their options fucking are. In fact, they're kind of... Blind. It's like... Mmm. It's like when they pick options, they're the stupidest fucking things they could pick. And it's like they keep making it fucking worse. They keep picking dumb shit. They pick the snake and now they're wearing it around their belt. Uh-oh. It's a bow constrictor. Uh-oh. It's venomous and it doesn't do that shit. 
In fact, it might even bite them while they're looking at all those jewels and money and shit. This person might have an obsession with, like, making money, but they don't have the wisdom to, uh, keep it going and keep their options going either. Alright. Ace of Pentacles. This well-rooted offer, how it starts, how it'll begin. Yeah, no, you'll be taking care of your own self. Once again, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, it's a Knight of Cups. Dude, you're gonna have to, you would have to refill your own fucking cup and, and like, you're, you'd end up drunk and then, like, filling it up with water just to hide the fact you've been drinking, I think. Uh, and you'd fuck that up. <laughs> You would fuck that up. You're basically like drinking your own cup because it's like you it always seems like you flop your feelings. Or someone's gonna cause you to flop your feelings. It comes off as immature, it comes off as a bit childish, yes. But that's just how you're you are, but I feel like someone does this to you. Like this offer has got you tripping. Like you wanna get drunk because you don't know how to handle it, and that might cause you not to be able to handle it. Hmm. Like, but don't worry, it, 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 I mean, like, you might be tripping up some more. Just give it time. After these messages. <laughs> Alright, what's with this victory? Third party situation leading to a breakup leads to a victory? Was it the breakup that led to the victory for some of you? Because it seems like it. I think it helped you figure out something. And how to actually deal with the situation with the idiot, honestly. Because the King of Pentacles is acting like a total idiot right now. Uh, not even knowing how to be gentle with the Queen of Swords reverse. Like, I trying to act like scorned, act like a butterfly did something wrong to it. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Someone might be delivering something of value. But it's not to start anything new. But just not to let anything die. Well, I called that shit. Um, this person, I, it might be the King of Pentacles, too. It might be the same person. Whoever it, it is for you, it doesn't have to be an Earth sign. It could be whoever it resonates with. You know, whoever is carrying this energy, they might want to offer something to you, but it's not to start anything. It's just not to end it. Like, if they, if they want to come up and be like, hey, do you want to, like, mess around or something? You might have the expectation that they want a relationship with you. But in reality, no, it's just like they just want a booty call, but they don't want to stop getting booty calls from you. Like, they want... It's like the whole, like, non-committal shit again. Don't go for that. For the love of God. Don't. Because you're going to see this person... For exactly what kind of, like, idiot they are. Like, you're not able to really, uh... Value the options they that they're manifesting enough to, like, keep them in check. It's like they waste their resources. And I feel like they would waste yours, too. And I feel like you get drunk and fuck up your feelings on purpose to protect yourself from their fuckery. I feel like you would totally do that shit. I feel like you would get drunk and cause yourself to lose your own damn fish just to not have this situation happen again. If at all, ever. You know? That's what I got for you, Sagittarius. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it, but it's up to you. No pressure, of course. I will see you guys later. Love your faces. Kisses. Bye-bye.